Planned Parenthood sells baby parts, and it turns out those sales may be bigger than we ever imagined, according to California public records documents that we are now exclusively reporting. I'm David Daleiden with the Center for Medical Progress. Previously, we told you about the NIH emails released through FOIA that confirm a federal law enforcement investigation of the Planned Parenthood supplied fetal tissue bank in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today, we're going to talk about more shocking facts we've discovered about a second Planned Parenthood supplied fetal tissue bank at the University of California in San Diego. These facts clearly demonstrate Planned Parenthood sells baby parts in violation of federal law and for potentially far more money than we ever discussed before. Never before released documents that CMP exclusively obtained through a California public records request show that for the past 15 years, Planned Parenthood has supplied aborted fetal body parts to UC San Diego. Its contract describes the aborted baby body parts as its proprietary fetal material, being exchanged to UC San Diego for valuable consideration. The transfer of aborted fetal tissue for valuable consideration is a federal felony, and something Planned Parenthood has strenuously denied doing for the past eight years and continues to deny even today. But the parties of this contract, Planned Parenthood and UC San Diego, state that in supplying the aborted babies for research, Planned Parenthood shall retain all right, title, and interest in patents and patent applications and other intellectual property rights relating to the aborted fetal body parts. The valuable consideration is Planned Parenthood selling access to its proprietary aborted babies in exchange for its ownership of the university intellectual property generated with them, which could be worth millions of dollars in revenue. Our public records requests show this agreement was updated to reflect Planned Parenthood San Diego's name change in 2014 and indicate it has remained in effect to the present day. UC San Diego has registered numerous patents that were developed using aborted fetal body parts from Planned Parenthood. Some of the professors listed on the patents harvested hundreds of brains, eyes, hearts, and livers from late-term, healthy babies aborted at Planned Parenthood in Southern California. We're still learning more about the intellectual property developed with Planned Parenthood's proprietary aborted fetuses and how much money has flowed to Planned Parenthood because of it. But this contract shows that fundamental to the relationship, Planned Parenthood sees itself as entitled to substantial property, valuable consideration, and other benefits from the University of California as a result of its supply of aborted babies. Take a look at this email thread from Planned Parenthood to UCSD about setting up regular meetings to discuss their research collaboration. UC San Diego states, they will have results to share on samples recently collected and will discuss Planned Parenthood's abortion training program as part of the meeting. Planned Parenthood replies the collections are going well, but they have some questions about payments to the residency program. Payments to the abortion training program Planned Parenthood runs out of UCSD's OBGYN department. Planned Parenthood's two-tiered abortion training programs at UCSD are the Ryan Residency Training Program and the Fellowship in Complex Family Planning. Planned Parenthood runs programs like this at the University of Pittsburgh, several University of California campuses, the University of Washington, and other taxpayer-funded locations around the country where Planned Parenthood supplies fetal tissue. These programs supply Planned Parenthood with new abortion doctors and allow the relentless expansion of their abortion volume and abortion revenue. So the payments to the residency program that Planned Parenthood refers to as part of its fetal tissue research with the University of California are payments to expand Planned Parenthood's lucrative, taxpayer-funded, late-term abortion business. There is also further evidence of substantial lump sum cash payments from UC San Diego to Planned Parenthood. For example, this $10,000 contribution from UC San Diego to a Planned Parenthood fundraising event in 2021. Finally, in the years since the proprietary fetuses agreement was signed, some of UC San Diego's top financial benefactors have extended their grant support to Planned Parenthood, paying out millions more dollars to expand the abortion business in Southern California. We're still uncovering the details about the total financial value that Planned Parenthood has received from supplying aborted fetuses to the University of California. But the evidence we have so far is significant. And not surprisingly, Planned Parenthood's national headquarters knew about this. 
Planned Parenthood classifies its work with the university scientists as part of its research program. The activities in San Diego were registered with, reviewed, and approved by Planned Parenthood Federation of America's National Research Department. Additionally, these UC research operations were funded by the NIH with federal taxpayer money. Planned Parenthood leadership at the highest levels needs to answer for what we now know is its participation in government-sponsored fetal trafficking. Our public records investigations and reporting of these stories are ongoing. Here's what you can do to help. First, we need to continue to ask our federal representatives to demand further oversight of government-funded fetal experimentation and to terminate the federal government sponsorship of the abortion industry. Second, we need to call for the existing Federal Office of Inspector General investigation of aborted baby harvesting at the University of Pittsburgh to be expanded to include Planned Parenthood's activities in San Diego and any other locations where this $1.8 billion abortion business supplies aborted babies for taxpayer-funded experiments. Finally, please like and share this video and support CMP's ongoing investigative reporting at www.centerformedicalprogress.org.